Welcome to Tech Mining. In this video, we will create an event drop chart. An event drop chart is a type of time series visualization that shows the occurrence of events over a specific timeline, typically for multiple categories or variables. It is a line chart where each event is represented by a small dot or bar positioned on the timeline at the time it occurred. Each event represent a period of time with different colors of the event, at different grocery stores. This event drop chart tracks the number of sales for four stores over a five-day period. It is titled Event Drops Chart Sales. And includes the text, Date of Sales, on the x-axis. and customers, on the y-axis. Each horizontal line represents a store. And each vertical line represents a day. The circles on the lines show how many sales each store had on that day. For example, on Monday, April 7th, Acme store had 36 sales. On Tuesday, April 8th, Delhi had 46 sales. Shop C had 34 sales. And Store A had 42 sales. The purpose of this chart is to visualize the sales data for each store over time. This is helpful for identifying trends such as which stores are selling the most products, or which days are the busiest, in different stores. Now let's get started. Go to Object Browser, to access the table used in the video. The table EBA Demo Chart Orders, is used in the video. To create this table, use the code provided in the video description. To keep things simple for developers, the sample data of this table is also provided in the video description. Now, create a new page. Select the chart option. followed by the line option. The provided SQL query snippet, selects three columns, sales date, quantity, and customer, from the EBA demo chart orders table. Sales date, this column holds the date of each sale. Quantity, this represents the quantity of items sold in each transaction. Customer, this contains information about the store from where customers made the purchase. Next, for the label column property, the column selected is used for defining the labels on the x-axis of the chart. Selecting the quantity column for the value column property, will display the quantities inside the chart. A maximize button, resembling a square with diagonal arrows, appears in the region's title bar. 
users can click this button to expand the region, to occupy the full width and height of the available space within its parent container. Set the region body height to 480 pixels. The static ID is used as the ID for the region using the substitution string, region static ID, useful when developing custom JavaScript behavior for the region. If this is not defined, the region generates an internal ID. In the current scenario, it is used in the execute JavaScript code for the dynamic action, created further. Select the type of time axis to display on the chart. This setting will automatically render the chart data in chronological order. The time values will be displayed on the chart axis in mixed frequency. Specify the zoom and scroll behavior of the chart. Selecting the delayed option, the change to the data display will wait until the zoom and scroll action is done. Specify whether an overview scroll bar should be rendered on the chart. Enabling the show switch, renders a legend on the chart. The chart axis will rescale as the minimum and maximum values of the visible data increase or decrease. Enter a JavaScript function that takes a configuration object for the chart, modifies the object, and returns it. This allows advanced customization of the chart appearance, features, and behavior. Let's understand this JavaScript function. This part creates an empty array to store reference line objects for the y-axis. Series names array, creates an empty array to store series names. Options data filter equals function data, sets a callback function that will be executed when chart data is retrieved. It manipulates the data before it's used for rendering. Then it loops through each series in the data series array. For each item within a series, sets its value property to the index of the series, ensuring unique values for each series. Adds a reference line object to the y-axis line reference array, for each series, visually separating them on the y-axis. Then it pushes the name of each series into the series names array for later use. Returns the modified data object to be used for chart rendering. This series name equals series names array, assigns the series names array to a property of the function, making it accessible outside. This event names fn, defines a function to convert series values to their corresponding names for use in y-axis tick labels. Then it extends the options y-axis object with the reference lines, configuring them for the y-axis. Return options returns the modified options object, used for initializing a chart. Rename the default series. Select the column name, used for displaying series separately. Specify the style of the line to be rendered on the chart. Specify the none type for lines to be rendered on the chart. Specify whether a marker should be rendered on the data items of the chart. 
select the shape of the marker to be rendered on the data items of the chart. Select whether the labels should be rendered on the chart. Enter a title for the axis. This title describes the information being represented on the axis of your chart. Select the font style and size. Select a numeric date and time type, of formatting to be applied to the value on the chart. When a date is formatted as full, the formatted date will contain long weekday. For example, Friday, February 17, 2024. Enter the minimum and maximum value of the axis. Defaults to null, for automatic calculation based on the data. Select the scaling behavior of the value on the chart. Specify the event that causes the dynamic action to fire. Set the type to region, used to trigger the event. Select the chart region that will trigger the dynamic action. The code modifies the chart's y-axis tick labels to display series names instead of numerical values. The apex region, sales, accesses the chart region within the apex page, identified as sales, that is, chart region static ID. Widget, drills down to the widget within the chart region. OJ chart, invokes a method and function specifically for jet charts used to configure chart properties. When the chart is rendered, the y-axis tick labels will display the names of the series, rather than their numerical indices, making the chart more readable and informative. Save your work. Run the page. Let's test the event drop chart we created. Everything is perfect. That's all for now. Hold on to your curiosity, there is many more exciting content coming soon. Thanks for watching the video.